What is up, YouTubers? We are back with another episode of Our 60s Journey. My name is Lucas, and I am here to help everyone that wants to hear build healthy relationships. So today, we're actually going to talk about mending broken relationships. I had an Uber ride this morning with this couple. They've been married five years. They have three children. And I asked them, I said, so how long were you guys dating before you decided to get married? And they said three months. And there was this huge pause in the car. And I said, wow, that's really awesome. I was like, the fact that you knew that quickly that you were meant to be with someone. And he goes, yeah, our relationship has really worked out really well. And they proceeded to go into kind of some details about how their parents didn't approve and some of their friends thought they were crazy and blah, 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 blah. But how they decided to create these healthy boundaries inside of their relationship and how they viewed it behind closed doors. You know, that's something really important to remember is that when you're in a relationship, no one is really going to be giving you advice except for your partner because no one really knows what happens behind closed doors. You know, I have so many calls of people that call in and want to blame the other person because something went wrong. Well, they did this and this and this and this and this and this and this. And I've had videos on accountability, right? Taking accountability for what it is that we created and how it is that our energy and our choices affected the relationship. So today, I want to talk about how to mend relationships and something that the man said to me that I was already aware of but it was nice to be affirmed is that the longer you're with someone, the more and more you see them, the more and more you become of all the different aspects of their personality. At some point you're going to face their fear, their anger, their frustration, their anxiety, their bipolar. Like everyone struggles with all these things, right? We can go from extreme up, extreme down, extreme happy, extreme sad, joyful, anger, like all these things happen. And the more you're with someone, the more you have the opportunity to witness and then support the energy that they currently carry because they're growing. They are growing every single day. And sometimes the growth is about you. Sometimes the growth is about them. Sometimes the growth is just about the two of you together. And it's about knowing where your relationship is going, where the marriage is going, where the engagement, the whatever, wherever it's going, what is the purpose? What path are you on? What plan are you taking today? And how can we make choices that help support that growth? Because sometimes you have to walk away from someone. And even though you're married, you have to walk away in that moment and go, you know what, I don't know how to process this. I'm not sure what to say. I need to go over here and get space and then come back. And so many people, I have been this person, are afraid to let the other person go into their own state of isolation and let you go over there in your state of solitude and process the energy separately and then come back together and talk about it. It scares people. They want to latch on. Don't let them out of the house. Don't let them leave. Don't leave the bathroom. Stay up and talk 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 until hopefully a resolution is found. Sometimes silence is the best way to find resolution. So, again, we are using the Sacred Geometry Activations Oracle. So, what I'm going to ask the cards today is, what is it we need to remember most when dealing with a relationship that is currently out of alignment. What is it that's going to help us find alignment inside of a relationship when things aren't going well? And it's going to happen. At some point, relationships, things happen. Stuff hits the fan and you never know what it is you're going to need to do. So if you're dealing with this problem today and your relationship's not working, ooh, this is what we do. All right. The card of today is integration. So the first thing that I'm really picking up from this card is we have to know what it is our own inner truth is. Where it is we're guiding our deepest energy, our rooted earth energy, where is it growing right now? How are we connecting our intuition in with our root? Intuition is the forehead, right? Above the two eyes, that make a little triangle. That's where your intuition is centered. That triangle of eye, eye, up to the up to the, to the third eye, the crown, like the middle of the forehead, down. There's an energy there of seeing things before they happen. Listening to the, it's, I say the gut, but really is listening to your own soul's calling. Now, 
This shape you're seeing on here is called the Sri Ranta. It's an ancient symbol that is considered to be a sacred instrument for unlocking manifestations about where you were going in life based on your intuition. There are nine interlocking triangles that are forming 43 smaller triangles. That grid represents the entire cosmos. Okay, this is about creating energy through your own energetic patterns of manifestation and creation. This tool has been used for thousands of years for meditation, devotion. It symbolizes a combination of both the divine feminine and the divine masculine. The divine feminine is the energy going up and the divine feminine is the energy going down, right? Earth and sky together. The center point, the Bidu, represents the junction between the physical universe and source. I told you there's a connection between source, and I think about source being from your root, like your root is coming up from the ground. That's your source of energy from the earth. And then you have your crown from the top going down. Now the dark blue here, refers to the vast and deep universe. And to me, that vast and deep universe is not necessarily talking about the entire universe. It's talking about your own dimensional understanding of your universe. This is about you. This red, again, is connected to the first chakra, the physical plane, your form-based reality. The light blue triangles represent the balance between the masculine and the feminine. All that swirling circle energy in the background that you can see are the other dimensions, other possibilities. You can think about the star systems, other people around you, your family, like these are the thing, the outside influences affecting your ability to integrate your goals in a relationship. Now, the energy of, in of integration supports your journey through the dualistic part of your own life, connecting your multidimensional self into the other person and their multidimensional self into the relationship you are forming together. You know, you can only integrate everything that comes to you inside your head. It's your thoughts that are manifesting constantly that are bringing about the reality around you. Um, I just got a huge thing about forgiveness. <laughs> You know, this card is about integrating forgiveness into a relationship because at some point you're going to need to forgive them. And if you're living in some sort of rose tinted glasses of, um, I don't need to do this. It's going to be, everything's going to be perfect in our relationship. You are fooling yourself. Now this card says to take a deep breath and close your eyes and ask yourself, how do you integrate your inner world with the outer world? Are they reflecting each other harmoniously or do you need to give some loving care to those different aspects of yourself? Do you spend time contemplating your daily life and exploring how it's connected to your thoughts and your emotions? With relationships, anytime you join two things together, it's going to take work. You know, I remember being in choir and sometimes like you would have two strong singers. Like it was me and a guy named Eric. We were the strongest singers in our section. And sometimes me and Eric didn't harmonize. Like our, even or we were singing the same note, but it's harmony. We weren't always harmonizing and it was our balancing of each other that created a different note. And we're always, I just got chills. We're always singing our song with our partner and they're singing their song with us. And we have to really move through when is this song and song, which equals songs, working together to create harmony and when is it creating dissonance? And then integrating those tunes together. Integration is a really hard thing. Like that's something we're facing right now as a society. We've been slowly doing it by, you know, when it came to, you know, black rights and women's rights and gay rights and rights of individuals. And the thing is, every person in a relationship has their own set of, of rights and boundaries. And we have to know, when did we cross them? When did we not give them time to fully process their energy so that they can come back to us in a better state? So if you're wanting to integrate a relationship into your life, listen to yourself and listen to them. And the compromise because that, that word can be used a little foolishly sometimes like oh my partner's vegan so I'm gonna become a vegan <laughs> that's not compromise <laughs> that's change <laughs> you know how can you integrate the energies together in a way that suits you and above all when things are on the mend you better grab forgiveness by the balls and do it fully the whole like forgive and forget that's real when it's like I'm gonna forgive but not forget that's not forgiveness.
Forgiveness is fully releasing the transgression and knowing that you're starting over today, right now. That's all that matters. Every day is a new day. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. Hit subscribe. Hit like. Hit like. Hit like. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. I have no beard. <laughs> it's crazy. Love you guys. Bye.